Hey guys, Lost Scotsman here. Just thought I'd do this video today. Listen guys, I've not been on for a wee while because I don't keep very well. I, I suffer from really bad migraines. Anyway, I'm better today so I thought I'd do a video. Now, Iran. Let's talk about Iran first. I think there's got to be war with Iran. I mean, we just need to look at the tankers that have been seized. They've let one of them go, but they've taken the British one hostage. America is now saying they don't want to attack Iran because they know damn well it would be a devastating war for them. They would lose a lot of men. But Britain is now threatening Iran. <sighs> Look, the West want us to go to war with Iran. I'm just going to open my window a wee bit in here. They want us to go to war with Iran. They're pushing for war with Iran. It's the last, what I would say, stronghold in the Middle East left, I would say. They wanted Syria. They didn't get it. So they're trying for Iran. We all know if Britain or America attacks Iran, we're screwed. We're screwed, guys. Because eventually it will lead to World War Three. Now, some people are saying that we're already in World War Three. Yes, we are. We are, guys. It's... I've seen the price of oil starting to go up. Petrol station down the road, their fuel's been up about six pence since that oil t tanker was took. I don't know, guys. What's going to happen? It's the elites of this world want their oil. And America saying, Donald Trump saying, Mr. Trump saying, we don't need their oil, we don't need their oil, it's Britain that needs their oil. Bullshit. Of course they need their oil. That's why they're putting these sanctions on. It's not because they're building nuclear weapons. It's because they want their oil. <sighs> On the other hand, we've got Israel. They want ready Iran. And they're pulling the strings of America and they're pulling the strings in Britain. Why can we not just go on, guys? But no, we can't. We've got to go and take people's oil. We've got to invade countries. That Iraq, that was for the oil. We were meant, they were meant to have weapons of mass destruction. They had nothing. Nothing. It's all made up. Now, I need to watch what I'm saying here now because the terms and conditions of YouTube has changed. So, I don't know if any of you know about this, but... If you say certain words now, you can get flagged, you can get banned, basically, for saying certain things. Which I'm not saying, because then I'll get banned. <laughs> but, honestly, guys, the West is pushing for war. Britain's falling apart. Britain's a, a police state. You don't have freedoms in Britain anymore. America, I don't so know much about America. I don't know what it's like over there the now, but I know that freedom all over the world is starting to disappear. Britain is a shithole. Britain's lost, guys. And I don't think a civil war or, I don't know, a new government, I don't know if that's going to ever happen. I don't know what we need to do to save it. These are sad times we're in. War is coming. War is coming. This is how World War Two started. They started each other, annoying each other, and eventually it happened. This is what's going to happen. We'll attack Iran. No doubt it'll be Brit No doubt it will be Britain that does it for taking that oil tanker. Then war will start. Then America will stand in. The two is all. America and Britain will start fighting with the Iranians. And it will set fire to the entire Middle East. You guys don't realise that Iran has probably got spies in every single country that will probably cause terrorist acts. 
You think ISIS was bad? No. These guys are crazy. These guys are... You just need to look at the revolutionary guard and what is there, two million of them? And yes, guys, it's raining again in Scotland. It rains here all the time. One thing we can't complain, we, we don't have any water shortages. <sighs> I just don't know, guys, man. I just don't know. I don't know why we can't it just know our own. I don't know why there can't be peace in the world. I mean, what we could accomplish if we just all worked together. But no. It's greed. It's money. It's oil. I don't know what's going to happen. I can hear like a... There's some motorbikes down there. I think they're farmer's quads. That's, that's what you can hear. I just don't know, guys, what's going to happen in the next couple of days with this Iranian tanker situation. And America was meant to have shot down one of their drones. Of course, our... Of course, Israel attacked Iran, eh, no Iran, eh, Israel last night attacked Iraq. They, they are the cause of a lot of the problems. Israel are pulling the strings of the American government and the British government. A lot of people have said, oh, why don't we just bomb the shit out of Iran? Well, that's a great idea. Uh, that's a great idea. And then every single Islamic group in the world will come to this country in America and cause nothing but harm. I just don't know, guys. It's getting worse and worse every day. And I don't know how Iran managed to take that ship. I mean, you see the video in line of the, the helicopter hovering above it and them parachuting, well, no parachuting, but using the ropes and taking the ship. I mean, the British destroyer, right, was only 20 miles away. It could have easily shot that, that helicopter out of the sky, even at 50 miles away. This is all by design, guys. They're trying to start a war. They want a war. They want a war. And what will happen is, we'll invade. It'll all go to shit. Thousands of our troops will die. And then Russia will get pissed off. Because Russia's got ties with Iran. And they've told us, you better not attack Iran. And then we'll start fighting with them. And then before you know it, your life is gone. Everything is gone. They'll use nuclear weapons. Huh? They will use nuclear weapons. And a lot of people, billions of people will die. I mean, see me? I'm only 30 miles far. A submarine, nuclear submarine pens. I'll be vaporised. Even if I hide under the ground, I'll probably be lucky if I survive. Anyone within cities, anyone within major... Areas where factories are, you're screwed. You're screwed. Because you're all targets. Everybody seems to think, oh, a nuclear war will not be that bad. <laughs> no. You're only 99% of the, the country will be dead or dying of radiation poisoning. And the younger generation now, they don't, they don't give a fuck. They don't care, all they care about is their smartphones and their internet that'll all, that'll all be lost guys, all of that'll be gone you'll have no internet you'll have nothing you'll be lucky if you have electricity you'll be extremely lucky if you'll no get radiation poisoning if there's a World War 3 I don't know guys it's as if everything's starting to spiral out of control. My country's falling apart, the UK. We might have Boris Johnson as the next Prime Minister. God help us all. I 
I don't know anymore. Right, guys, listen, I'm going to leave it at that 10 minute video. I'll try and do another one tomorrow, but as I say, I do suffer from migraines, and it is a way today, thank God. Um, but please leave your comments below, and I would really appreciate a subscribe and a, a thumbs up. Um, and I'll try and do a video tomorrow, okay, guys? Right, thanks for that, and catch you all later. Bye.